Hello and welcome. This tutorial will show you how to install Infor Robotic Process Automation components to execute automated processes in an attended mode. Infor RPA consists of components you can install on your on-premise device as well as others, which can be accessed from the Infor OS portal in the multi-tenant cloud environment. The on-prem components for this tutorial are RPA Studio, a modeling application for designing the RPA flow to automate the processes, and RPA Assistant, which is used for attend flow execution on your workstation. All these components are part of the RPA installer. Since Infor RPA Management, our multi-tenant application of RPA, is provisioned alongside other Infor OS applications, Infor RPA on-prem components can successfully connect with MT Cloud RPA Management through API Gateway. During this tutorial, we will present how to install RPA components for the attended flow executions, RPA Studio, and RPA Assistant. For RPA, we can distinguish two types of executions, attended and unattended. The attended mode of process execution has to be triggered on demand from the RPA Assistant on-prem application and should be supervised by the user during its run. It is recommended to use the attended execution mode in case specified user involvement is required in the process. The unattended mode of execution doesn't require the presence of the user and can be scheduled to run at a specific day and time. For unattended components, installation and flow execution will be covered in a separate video. To install RPA Studio and RPA Assistant, download the installer from the RPA Management UI, the multi-tenant RPA component part of Infor OS. To do so, log in to the Infor OS portal. Go to the Infor OS homepage and click RPA Management. On the RPA homepage, select Download RPA Installer. You can also access the RPA Installer by going under the Manage, then Download section in the Application menu. On the main screen, select the supported version and select the latest version to download the installer. Once the download is completed, go to the file where it was saved on your device and open it. On the Welcome page, select Next. The next page is a copyright message, so it is recommended to read it and then click Next. On this screen, you should choose the destination location of the RPA home folder and the path to the user data. There is a default location already predefined. If you do not wish to change it, select Next. On the Select Features screen, click Attended RPA, which contains Robot, Infor RPA Assistant, and Studio IDE. All of these allow you to execute the RPA flows and processes in the attended mode of execution. Click Next and then Install. The installation will take a couple of minutes. Once completed, click the Finish button. Before we can access the RPA Studio and RPA Assistant, first we will need to download the connection files from the API Gateway application. Under Authorized Apps, search for the RPA Studio, click Download Credentials. Now search RPA Tray Assistant and click Download Credentials. These files are needed to establish communication between RPA on-prem components and the multi-tenant RPA. Note that you must be logged into the portal in order to successfully access the RPA Studio. Go back to the RPA Studio. On the dialog window, click Add Profile and select the credential file downloaded from the API Gateway. Next, you will be taken to the login screen to provide your user login and password. After clicking Sign In, on the Request to Access screen, click Allow. After successful login, your avatar will appear in the upper right corner of the screen. Now let's go to the RPA Assistant, click Add Account, and select the credential file for RPA Assistant. Now select the credential entry within the RPA Assistant screen and provide the user credentials from this tenant as we did in the RPA Studio application. Then click Sign In. On the Request to Approve screen, click Allow. Once you are logged in, you will see all the automated processes that you are authorized to execute. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you wish to see more, visit our YouTube channel and subscribe to see the latest content.